हेलो फ्रेंड्स लेट्स गो फॉर नेक्स्ट कंडीशनल कंस्ट्रक्ट विच इज स्विच केस नाउ स्विच इज अ की वर्ड आफ्टर दैट इन साइड द पैरथिस आई विल हैव सम एक्सप्रेशन और आई विल पुट सम वैल्यू ओवर देयर विच विल बी आइदर इंटीजर और कैरेक्टर कॉन्स्टेंट बिलो दैट आई विल हैव अ ब्लॉक ऑफ स्विच नाउ दिस ब्लॉक विल कंटेन लिस्ट ऑफ केसेस सो यू विल आइदर हैव केस वन केस टू केस थ्री केस फोर or you may have case a case b case c case d and so on but the case label should be either integer or it should be character constant you cannot have something like case 3.142 now inside each case you will see one keyword which is break keyword so each case contains the code which you want to execute for that particular case and below that break keyword we write so we will see the significance of that break keyword So let's go for an example. First, let's see how the switch case executes. Suppose I have some integer variable i which is initialized with three value, and after that I write switch. Switch is a keyword. Inside parentheses I will say i, and I will open and close the block of switch. Now inside the switch block there will be list of cases. Case one, case two, case three, case four. Say case one, case two, then case three. okay that is enough now this list need not to be in order like it's not mandatory mandatory that i will write case 1 then case 2 then case 3 you can write any case first and you can write any case after that like case 1 case 4 case 11 case 12 because it is just a list but for uniformity purpose i have written them in order so under case 1 i write say printf 1 then in case 2 i write print f2 and case 3 it is print f3 backslash n here 2 this is 1 this is 2 and this is 3 now let me compile and run first the name of the file is switch.c so gcc switch.c dot slash a dot out this is giving me output 3 because value of i is 3 so it will jump to the case 3 and it will execute that case now suppose i change the value of i to 2 and i run it output is 2 3 it is not only 2 but it is 2 3 because in this case it will jump to the second case and from that case onwards it will execute the whole switch block so this is the default behavior of switch case it will evaluate this expression it will jump to that particular case and from that case onwards it will execute the whole block of switch this is called as fall through of switch case but i don't want this behavior i what i want is if it is 2 then it should execute only case 2 if the value of i is 1 then it should execute only case 1 so for that purpose i will make use of one keyword which is break keyword i will write break here and now if i run it is giving only 2 so break keyword is used to break the block of switch so i need to write this keyword in every case so here and here i will write break keyword so now the execution is correct if i give the value of i as 1 then this will give me only one into the output now suppose value of r is something 24 so in that case if i run the program then nothing is on to the output so because there is no matching case inside switch so for such cases there is one special case which is called as default case so default case will get execute if there is no matching value into the list of cases so if you want to give some message to the user you can write it over here i can write some message like say out of range or illegal input anything so this will get execute for all those cases which are not into the list all those values which are not into the list of cases so this is how switch case is run now let's see one example of switch case suppose i have two different variables a and b and both are taken from the user so i say enter two integers 
and I scan them percent D percent D comma ampersand A comma ampersand B now suppose I want to write a menu driven program where user will enter some choice and depending on user choice the corresponding operation is done on these two numbers so for that first of all I give some menu to the user say one for add two for subtract then three for multiply and four for division and I take user's choice in variable choice so here I have to write switch case where switch will switch according to the choice variable in the switch block case 1 is for addition case 2 is for subtraction case 3 is for multiplication and case 4 is for division so to store the answer I declare one more variable which is ANS variable as float value so in case 1 I will say ANS equals to A plus B and break similarly in case 2 it will be ANS equals to A minus B here A multiplication B and here A division B so here minus multiplication division in case of division I need to type cast because it may be some fractional value and after switch block I will print the value of ANS so I will say print F percent D ANS equals to percent D comma ANS so now let me compile and run this code two integers 12 24 if I want to add them it should be percent F because ANS is float value 12 24 if I add them 36 is the answer 12 24 if I multiply 3 then this is answer 288 is the answer then 1 2 is input if I divide it 0 0.50000 will be the answer so this is how a switch case is used in C program to write a menu driven programs so if you like the video please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel thank you